bridges. We certainly take them for granted, but when they start to fall apart, an entire community is impacted. That's why taxpayers in Trenton are demanding answers from Wayne County about the West Road Viaduct. Last year, Wayne County officials told us the bridge would be worked on this year. So 7 investigator Heather Catalo started digging for answers about why that hasn't happened yet. I'm scared every time I go over it. Neighbors in Trenton want to know when this bridge will be fixed. The 83 year old West Road Viaduct is one of the few east west routes downriver that goes over these train tracks, which means cars don't get stopped when a train is racing by. We have water all on one side as far as you can go north and south, and then we've got major railroads, so we're like trapped in this little peninsula. That means the bridge is a lifeline for residents to get to nearby hospitals. We've got concrete falling down on cars that go under it. Lynn Wachlowski lives nearby. I know a friend that actually got rebar poked into her tire up on the uh, viaduct on the top. Bridge conditions are rated on a scale of one to nine, with nine being the best. Overall, the West Road Bridge is a three, considered to be in serious condition. You can see the viaduct even has steel supports that have been added under some of the piers. According to this Michigan Department of Transportation inspection report, while the surface of the bridge is rated in fair condition at a six, the piers are only a three and the expansion joints are rated at a two, considered to be in critical condition. In 2021, Wayne County officials told the seven investigators reconstruction on the piers would start in 2022, but so far, nothing. Oh, it makes me mad. I don't know if it's just Wayne County just doesn't care about us down here in a little down river or what. It became apparent that this bridge really does need to be replaced versus rehabilitated. Scott Cabawatton is Wayne County's deputy director of the Department of Public Services. He says in March, the county decided to pivot and plan for a full replacement rather than just fixing parts of the bridge. We want to build a bridge, a long term structure that's going to serve the public of, uh, of Trenton and Wayne County and, and those that visit the area. Um, and we want to make sure it's done to the best standards and uh, that it's uh, number one safe. Cabawatton says right now the bridge is safe to drive on. If it wasn't, the county would close it down like they did in 2020 to the Groziel Parkway Bridge. In the meantime, the county plans to start work soon on the West Road expansion joints that are currently rated as only a two. It just pours off of the viaduct. But the joints and the piers aren't the only trouble spots on this bridge. Downhill all down into here. A good two feet of water will be here every time it rains. Lynn says the clogged drains on the bridge have been causing flooding in the nearby homes and yards for years. I think that they're negligent. If they would have cleaned the drains as they were supposed to, we wouldn't have the water deteriorating this bridge and having to pay our tax dollars fixing this bridge. On every annual inspection since at least 2019, you can see the county's hired engineer has noted the same thing. Drains are plugged with dirt and debris and not functioning as intended. The inspector also points out the ponding water causes spalling or flaking of the concrete. Why hasn't the county cleared those drains? From my understanding, we have sent crews up there to clean the drains and just continuously get plugged. Because Cabawatton just started this job at the beginning of August, the seven investigators asked the county to find out the dates those drains were cleaned in the past. A county spokeswoman told us that they could not track that kind of specific maintenance, just the annual maintenance on the bridge. She said they could only confirm some of the drains were cleared back in 2019 when some of the expansion joints were repaired. Neighbors say that's not good enough. I want them all cleaned out and redone. The DPS deputy director says they don't have a target date yet for the new bridge, but they are hoping to start construction in the next year or two. It's expected to cost at least $34 million. He says in the meantime, they will keep up the maintenance on the current bridge. I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News. Heather, thank you. As always, if there's an issue you'd like the seven investigators to look into, don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact them through the number on your screen or at this email address, 
tips at wdxyz.com.